Hey guys, what's up? It's me, The Cow Chronicles, and uh, I went to Comic-Con today. If you don't know what that is, I can't really explain it to you. It's kind of a big thing, but uh, Edmonton, which is a place I live near, they had theirs today. I went, I had money, I bought things. I'm gonna show you the things I bought. And um, with the things I bought, I'm gonna try and, if I can remember the names of the like vendors I got them from, I'll make sure to link some kind of social media from them in the description in case you guys are interested in checking out their other stuff. So, yeah. I'll just start. So this is something I got from actually a local vendor, but she happened to be at Comic-Con. It's like a little jar. It has a little tiny little robot in it. Um, it's all handmade, and I definitely will include a link to her shop because it's one of my favorites. But yeah, it's very cute. Just a little tiny robot dude. And so this is a dagger I got. Um... I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was really pretty, so I had to get it. It has a little gem on the end and some nice, like, detailing on this side. Uh, this side is just plain. Still pretty, though. And then, looks like that. Kind of pointy. It's not too sharp. Like, I can press my hand against it. I'm not going to get cut. But, yeah, it's very nice. I have to get it. So I got these three pins, which in case you didn't know, I actually collect pins. That's why I tend to get them at every like Comic-Con I go to. And uh, these ones were just very aesthetically pleasing. This one has a little alien and just says abduct me. This one uh, says sounds gay, I'm in, which is just accurate. And this one uh, is kind of hard to read from where I'm sitting right now. But it, I th I'm pretty sure it says, maybe I wouldn't be so gay if my friends didn't have such nice faces, which is also accurate. So another thing, I don't know if I've talked about it on my channel, but I play Dungeons and Dragons with uh, my boyfriend and a few of our friends. So I had to get these dice, not because I need the dice, I have quite a few sets of dice already. But these ones were very, very pretty to me. I don't know if you can tell because of how the lighting is but uh, they have kind of like a silvery sheen to them. That's their uh, their name. They're blue with white Borealis Chessex dice, so very, very nice. And along with that, uh, I had to get more because, you know, dice. Uh, these ones have the same kind of sheen thing happening with them, except it's more of a rainbow, which, you know, is always appreciative. So this is black with silver Borealis Chessex, obviously. Uh, the Borealis ones are actually some of my favorite because they have the cool looking sheen to them. And I think, I think these might be like my second and third pairs. I think I have another one with the same thing going. So, yeah, just a huge nerd. Uh, so this is K2SO from the newest, newest? Yeah, newest Star Wars movie, Rogue One. And it said Cassian said I had to because he does not give a fuck about like anyone except him and Cassian. So when Cassian tells him to give a fuck, you know, that's typically his response. And I really like it. I, this is uh, one of two pieces from the same store I got, and it's actually, they take pages from an old dictionary, which obviously is why there's words all over it, and then press an image on top of it. So I thought that was super cool, and they had a lot of really nice ones. They had some from, like, specific... Uh, movies like i know they had nightmare before christmas and uh alice in wonderland so those those were really cool but i just didn't find any that you know spoke to me but uh this one definitely spoke to me because it's a cat i have a thing with cats plus it's uh it has a gas mask and a picture from a show i think last year uh i got of a model and she has a gas mask so you know my boyfriend connected the dots between those two and thought it was kind of cool that they'd match and this is the second piece i got from it so same thing uh, old, old, uh, dictionary and then a picture, and I just really like the whole peace thing, because, you know, war is kind of pointless, I'm against the military, but, you know, that that's for another video, so, yeah, it's just the simple make love, not war, hippie peace sign kind of thing, and I just, I really like how it looks. And the final thing I got was this, uh, print from Little Cheshire, uh, in case you didn't know, she's one of my, like, favorite models, she's a suicide girl hopeful, and models for hazardous material, and I think a few other, uh, like, small businesses here and there. And I actually have two other prints of her on my wall from past Comic Cons I've been to, so now I've just, I've made it a thing that I have to get a print of her each time. Um, she's also the one with the gas mask that I mentioned with the cat thing, so, yeah, she's 
beautiful, wonderful, she's super friendly, and just, I love her, so I'm gonna keep supporting her, because it's important to support people. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed everything I bought, obviously, because, you know, I spent money to buy it. Um, I hope you guys find something you might be interested in, and if so, awesome. Hopefully, I left a link for you. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.